Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. After being in the automotive industry for 23 years, what I've learned is the first five minutes make or break the sale every single time. I will show you in this video that if you can become deadly at the first five minutes of the meet and greet, I'm gonna teach you how to master it. You're gonna double your sales, you're gonna do great, and you're never gonna miss anybody again. Hey guys, all right, here we go. Meet and greet, how to master it in five minutes. Let's start out number one with the first sale that you will ever make in your life. And listen, this is very important. Before you can walk out the door and go sell the next customer that you're gonna go put your hands on and say hi to them, you have to sell yourself that you're going to sell the next customer that pulls up on the lot. That is the first sell that you will need to make every day for the rest of your life. They can buy, they came to buy, and they will buy as long as I do my job. Now that I've said that, now that I realize that I'm going to sell the next customer that comes in, and I believe it, and I know that it's gonna happen, and I've already envisioned it happening. When that customer pulls up, guess what happens? Or even before I take a phone call, same deal. Guess what? When I go out and say hi to them, you know what happens? The believability in me is so strong, and the passion that I have is so strong for selling them and making sure that they're taken care of, they can feel that. And the, and the power of influencing and persuading is to take the way that I feel and press it into you. So, if you look up here on my board, you guys know I'm a writer. I'm always writing stuff down. And I wanna write down certain steps and exactly how you do this. But I'm gonna tell you this, what if you do all those sales uh, steps right, but you don't make that sell that you're gonna sell the next person that pulls up, you're gonna sell and they're gonna buy a car. If you don't make that sell, what do all those steps matter? Well, none of them do. So now let's get into the steps, but I want you to understand, you need to make the sell that the next person that pulls up came to buy, will buy, and is gonna buy as long as you do your job. That's it, you already envision it happening, it's gonna manifest, you're gonna walk out those doors, you're gonna go grab them, and guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna sell them a car. So with that being said, let's get into how I handle the first five minutes during the meet and greet. Customer pulls up, how do I greet them? Let's do a couple different ways here, and you tell me which one you like the best. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Andy, welcome to the store. How can I help you? Okay, you guys like that one? You're like, Andy, that's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Andy, how can I serve you today? Oh, you like that one a little better. Listen, what do people wanna feel? Significant, special. This is how they want to feel. I know how they want to feel before they even come on my lot. What is my job to do? My job as a salesperson is to do what? Guys, I'm about to get right back to the video. I want to tell you number one, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you like what you're watching right now. Click the button, give me a thumbs up on it. Comment below, anything you need, I got you. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Set your notification bell so every single day when I put out brand new cutting edge training videos, you can get them. You see this giant wall right here? My job is to tear it down. That's the wall that's set up between me and the customer that I'm in. What's the fastest way to me for me to tear it down? Number one, it's by me having a great attitude and smiling and seem like a pleasant person. But secondly, it is by my, let me put it here, my words. Do you think that the last time they went to a car dealership or earlier that day when they were shopping, do you think that a salesperson walked up to him and said, how can I serve you? I'm just asking you. Do you think so? What's the chance? I'm about 99.99999% sure it was a no. They said one or two things. How can I help you today? What are you looking for today? Is there someone I can help you find? And it's the norm. But what happens whenever you become a one percenter and you say, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the store. How can I serve you today? They're like, wait a minute. Wall comes down. Who do we have here? Looks like we have a nice salesperson. You know what? Why is Chick-fil-A crushing everyone else in town and they're closed on Sundays? Because they can, because they do their job better, okay? Why does Chick-fil-A pay employees $17 an hour? Okay, minimum wage when McDonald's pays $8, $9, okay? Because they want people to treat people differently, all right? And that's what I want you to understand this. If you wanna make more money, turn in how can I help you to how can I serve you. Start serving people. Show them that you're different. The beautiful thing about it, your competition isn't doing it. I'm positive of it. They're not training. Guess what, guys, they're asleep at the wheel. 
And since they're asleep at the wheel, guess what happens? They're in the first five minutes and you come up and say, hey guys, how you doing? How can I serve you? It's over. Wall comes down. Now, I say, so who's, who, who's the lucky one today? Who's going to be uh, looking for a new car in the future? I didn't say today, I said in the future because I want a soft sell. Low pressure, steady. You know what I say? I say, oh, okay, cool. So it's going to be for her? Awesome. Now, watch where I start. I don't say, what do you want? I say, are you guys looking to replace this vehicle? This is a nice car. And I start at the trade. I always do that, okay? Because I want to tell you something. It's like a bank account. You can deposit, then you get to withdraw. And you can deposit, and then you get to withdraw. But so many salespeople, they just want to take, take, take. Hey, guys, how you doing? My name's Andy. How can I help you today? Okay, cool. So what are you looking for? Ooh, watch this. Okay, cool, a truck. What kind of truck? Four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive? Uh, Four-wheel drive, awesome. You want a crew cab or extended cab? Um, extended cab. Okay, cool. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? What are you doing, man? This is awful. And we wonder why salespeople have a bad rap. You know what? They expect you to say that when you came in. How about this? Hey, guys, welcome to the dealership. My name's Andy. How can I serve you today? Cool. What, what, so what brought you guys in? Awesome. That's really cool. And, and so how did you guys get in the market? Oh, she's looking for a car? That is so cool, that's awesome. Okay, so are you guys replacing this today? Is this gonna be maybe a car that's gonna get replaced? Yeah, awesome, it is. Okay, cool, well number one, we love trades. Matter of fact, um, why we do actually so much business here at our stores is because we actually give top dollar for trades. Um, how long have you, have you had it? Okay, great. You know what? I might have seen you guys around here before. Do you guys go to the local gym around here? Do you guys have children? Okay, cool. How many children do you guys have? Oh, awesome. That's great. Okay, and, and tell me more about that. Now, is this car going to be used for work, or is this actually going to be just with the family? Oh, okay, it's going to be with the family. That's awesome, man. Well, it sounds like you guys have a great family. Um, you guys look young. How, how old are you? I know you're not supposed to ask that, but you guys look really young. Guess what? Reciprocity. I'm being nice, give things to people, they'll give things back to you in return. This is how business is based, okay? Instead of actually like having a process and you're like trying to lead them, which is great, I'm okay with that, you do have to have a process, you're actually having real true dialogue. And the coolest thing about this, do you know what you're doing? The entire time they're judging you and they're saying, should I like this guy? Should I like this woman? Should I like this person? They're trying to judge you, but I'm not giving you any way to judge me. I'm actually protecting all that stuff, and I know that you're judging me. I know that you are. So I'm making sure that everything I do is flawless. And I'm smiling. I'm being generous. And I'm being kind. And guess what? The first five minutes, they'll decide whether they want to buy a car from you or not. I will tell you this. This isn't crucial, and this is important. People buy from people that remind them of their friends. I want you to have one thing going on in your head. Number one, they're judging you. Number two, this person here, right? Let's just draw a little stick figure. What's their best friend look like? I'm not a bet man, but I will tell you this. When I can talk to somebody for a couple minutes, I can probably have a pretty good idea about what their best friend kind of looks like, what they're like, how they act, and what they do. And guess what? I will probably try to mirror image that person. Do you know why? Because the rule is people buy from people that remind them of their friends. And what is my goal? My goal is within the first five minutes, if I want to master the meet and greet, I need to do one, one, one thing here. Number one, I need to make the customer feel significant. Number two, I need to make them feel special. Number three, I got to watch my words very carefully and do an unbelievable job. Number four, I've got to make the sale that I am going to sell them and that I will be persistent the entire time. Not telling them that they're going to buy, but making sure that the sale goes in the direction that I want it to go. And I don't just rely on chances and hope for it to come together on its own. I have a plan. You know what I have here in my hand? I have, and I call it the, um, the spotlight. So my customers are here, they're in the spotlight, and who's holding the spotlight? It's me, kinda looks like this. See this right here? This is me, I'm holding the spotlight. Who's in it? It's my customers. I'm in control, okay? They are the one who is being seen. The one who feels special. The one who feels significant. Guess what happens? Make a best friend with them. Be special to them. Be loving to them. Don't try to help them. Okay? Treat them like they're at your home. Think about this. If, so, if I came to your house right now and we were at your home, how would you greet me? How would you take me in? Okay? They know they're at a dealership. 
don't remind them. Treat them like they're at home and they're at your house. Don't ask them how you can help them. Ask how you can serve them. I promise you, their perception of you will not be shady salesperson, robber, thief. It will be, man, this person is different. We wish we could find people like this to buy from all the time. And that's what we do. So guys, how to master the meet and greet during five minutes. I start at the trade. This, I have tons of videos about this on YouTube. You can go check them out. By the way, you notice how I didn't script anything out here. I'm not giving you a process in your head to follow. I want you to understand the true psychology of mastering the meet and greet in five minutes and becoming deadly at it. This video will change your life. I recommend watching it many times so you can become the best. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching the full video. I started when I was 18 training just like you, no matter where you're at in life. I want to tell you this, being committed is all that it takes. I put out free training content on YouTube every single day to make sure that I can take you to the next level of life. I have over 500 free videos. Please make sure that you like the video. Shoot me a comment below and shoot me a text message. I'd love to get to know you, okay? If I haven't met you yet, 918-210-0254. Take a second, guys. Shoot me a text message. You're important to me. I have your back for life. We're going to go all the way to the top together. I appreciate you. You guys have a blessed day. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and set your alerts for the daily training video. Thank you.